Hey there, we're live again. Finally got the stream fixed. Man, we just crashed this morning for the original scheduled live show. And so I think I lost all the viewers. But that's okay because this is recorded. I see that there's four of you watching right now. So thanks for being here. All right, we got Susan back. Hey, Zeno Moto. Thanks for watching. So all I'm going to do is, is a little bit more. I'm not going to make it real long, but I felt like I was just so cut off the last one. I need to finalize my progress here on the uh, dragon that I started. All right, we're up to 18. <laughs> sauce is cooking. <laughs> you got the sauce started. All right. Sorry about that crash earlier. This is the way it goes. Everybody's online now. As it turns out, it looks like it was just my internet connection, something I'm not in control of. That's the internet service provider. What am I going to do? Just got to start another stream. So I want to make just a little more progress painting my dragon, dragon face here. And so let's flip over to flip over to my other view and continue where I was. So we're in here, we're gonna put a big crazy looking dragon. And let's let's zoom in a little bit. Let's have a better look at him. Right here, then we can see the see the details. And I'm starting to get some three-dimensional texture on there. Starting to get some. But I still have a lot more developing of the shape to do. All right. So I'm popping the lids off my paints. We're back in business. It's only a matter of time before it crashes again, I'm sure. I think this is a much less popular time to be online. So probably the uh, the bandwidth is better, less people using using the internet right now. At least in my area where I'm trying to stream from. So Here's the brush I was using. I've got this in case, uh, I wish to just use a new one. That one's getting all gunked up. I always use these brushes. I've got a couple of them, a couple of them handy. You know, it's, it's flat this way, it's wide this way. Costs less than $5. It's a cheap brush and, and I love just burning through these. I find that the expensive brushes that are this shape, I love this shape. They do last longer, but not enough longer for, for me to care to spend the money because you know the way I just I, I, I abuse them and, and they get beat up and I'm like oh I should just burn through the cheap ones okay so I left off working on the the dragon's face and I was trying to come up in here and start fading this red color into the cheekbone in here so I'm just developing the three-dimensional shape we've got We've got these spots up here on top and you know I'm not I'm not sure which which direction I want to go with or I mean uh, exactly what shapes I want to make with with these patterns just something like this so I'm putting patterns in here like just plates like what you would see on top of a snake's head so we'll do some some red highlighted a little bit up there and then maybe down here we've got more black. So I'm going to start putting black on the picture right up here. Just pile the black on there. And I'm going to put a nice dark shadow under his mouth. Really get that to show up. You know, black is a good, good color on a jack. Black looks good on something big and scary. So I'm going to put... I don't know, just like a ridge along the cheekbone, little dots here. Maybe those are some big, big scales along that ridge here. I'll put some others kind of in between it, make another row. And this is going to come up under its eyelids. So eyelids going to be right in here like that. And then I'll make some darker scaly patterns under here. Maybe make that coming up this way. Just dots. Just dots with my paintbrush is all I'm doing to try to get just the 
the uh, suggestion of some scales or plates on his on his skin okay so I want to get darker here where it goes under his cheekbone and then kind of have have a visible highlight right along there and then in here we've got the eyes so I'll start with just maybe black and white will give me some good good ridges where the skin kind of wrinkles so I'll go like this make a lower eyelid make an upper eyelid like this and you know it's always fun to make big eyes on things when we create things eyes are cool they're, they're awesome but if you make them big it creates a more friendly look to a creature we talked earlier in the previous video that crashed masculine versus feminine face face qualities physical qualities and and so you know face bones a, ma a more masculine face grows bigger face bones they continue to grow eye sockets get deeper eyes are smaller in comparison so if you want something that looks real big old really masculine not soft not gentle small eyes big sockets is uh, a better way to get that look so I'll show you what I mean if I shrink this eye down like that then I might get a little bit more of a the look of like a giant creature and not like a not like a friendly little anime character <laughs> let's put some wrinkles here where his, where his eyelids are and then maybe put a little bit of color here where this is starting to wrap around and come back up over the top of the head so here's my my red and yellow so that I can just kind of blend this right up into here let's put some red right here we've got the the more brown orange color up on the top of the forehead and so so I'm just trying to add that color in so that I can make it look like it comes over and then down around that that eye socket then I'll just take some white and maybe put a ridge right in here like this maybe more than one put a little one in here too maybe like that make a couple ridges so maybe he's got like its top eyebrow ridge and then it goes down to the down to the eyelid that's actually above the eye here let's go like this like that I'm gonna get get more detailed with this after I get it laid out so this is just a this is kind of my first pass at the picture where I just want to make all my all my big decisions about the the way it looks about the anatomy now I'm going to fade this into the red I like that red color how it kind of comes up across the nose like this and if we kind of swoop up like this we go down under the cheekbone up here to the nostril a natural concave we usually have you know this would be like the nose bridge like you know that concave between my nose and my cheeks it's right here so that's what I'm making on this guy and I'll just just keep blending the red and the black you know something to get used to when you're working with fast drying paint and now this is like ultra fast drying paint because it's been sitting here all morning and once you have that freshly dried paint new paint over it dries so fast especially if the uh, temperature is warm so here it's darker and I'm just going to try to put like some some uh, little patterns of, of scales in there maybe as well so a little bit of white might be cool I'll take some of this white and go down right here maybe a little bit bigger plates in here coming down over the teeth maybe and I'll just paint over them a few times to get to get them to be darker and darker until they're not not real bright highlights just subtle ones and I'll put little dots in between kind of stack them like bricks so that they feel a little bit more like scales a little more offset like that let's go up here and blend this lighter white down into this spot I'm just trying to get some basic gradients in place get kind of a color 
color scheme going, which I'm deciding as I go. But I, I'm liking where it's headed. I've got the blacker nose, I got the redder face. I'm gonna put more red right in here in this transition. Put red right in there. And then I'm gonna darken that nose. I don't want it to look gray, I want it to be more black. So let's go a little bit darker on this nose. Right here, we'll go dark, dark under here. Like this, looks like we need a little bit better, better blend in here for that nose hole. I just used red and black. And I'll blend it so that it kind of comes out into the light. And then we have this little bit of reflection here. Choop, choop. Like a real big nostril. It looks like it's really, could breathe a lot of air on you. It's kind of a, you know, if you look at an elk or a deer, this nose is very similar to that. Kind of flat. It's like a horse. If you took a horse's snout and just scrunched it down flat, that's an elk. <laughs> or or a deer. Real similar. Sheep. Sheep are kind of the same. Okay, let's go like this and make that top shape on the on the nostril. I'm just deciding. Just deciding what, how big I want that to be. You know, what shape do I want that nostril to be? I'm going to shave off this little bit right there. Thin it out just a touch. And bring this black back down right here. And I'm going to start putting an eye in there. So it might be fun to have, to have an eye to help me get the feel for how this is going to look. And so let's go up in here. Focus on that eyeball, and I'll show you how to get some some real good uh, translucency to an eyeball. So we're going to make a nice big one on our picture. Let me let me switch over here. Switch over here and get that off my ear for a minute. <laughs> what a great ear shot that is. <laughs> okay, I just want to see who's watching real quick. Hey, we got 40. We're up to 40 viewers. That's a lot to ask of all you, all of you to just on a moment's notice show up after my stream crashed in the earlier, earlier one this morning. So I'm just taking a little bit of time. It's not going to be a long stream this one because I'm trying to do the continuation of the, of the uh, crash this morning. So thanks for being here, Celliart SV, who says, how would you paint the skin around the horns? Oh, I'll do that. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna build this out a little bit more. I'll show you. And you know, I'll make it like a, you know, kind of like a fingernail. I'll just I'll just kind of make a, a lot of little scales and 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 uh, texture going up to it. And just change the texture. You know, it's left a lot to imagination, I guess. Really talented dude. Love your murals. Hey, thanks a lot, Stone Creations. <laughs> Mary Sue loves dragons in the Game of Thrones. <laughs> cool. Forty-five. Oh, now it's up to forty-nine. Yeah, the yeah, numbers going up very good. Hey, thanks for tuning in. You who uh, just showed up, thanks for watching my video. We're painting a dragon, so I'm gonna flip back over to the close-up view and we're about to do the eye doing a big eyeball so let's go back to my to my right ear you're gonna be looking at and I'm gonna move out of the way and <laughs> now we've got got the eye there and here is how you do an eye okay so the color of it I think would be cool hmm what color I mean, I think orange, like, or a fiery color. I think a fiery color on the eye. We can always change it, but let's just start. Let's start with some yellow. And here's what I'll do. Since the light is coming this way, it's kind of shining toward the picture, going that way. So you can light the colored part of the eye on the opposite side of the light source. So that means that this is going to be the bright area right here at the lower, lower right of the eyeball. And then I'm going to put darker colors. And if I really want a good glow effect, if I really want it to glow, then I'll shift the hue as it gets darker away from yellow. So it's going to go to red. Colors shift toward yellow. 
as they get brighter if you want that translucent effect. So now I'm ready for black and I'll put the black in the upper left like this and then we'll go down and around this like this. Now, now look how I put less black on that lower right. I'll put more black up in here and I'm just going to shade around where I put that little bit of red. That's how I'm going to get a nice glow effect on that, or not a glow effect, translucent effect. It looks like the eye has some depth to it and like the light is going going in inside of it and shining out. That's what I mean by translucent. And so maybe let's put some, some texture in there. Let's put some, until I think of something more creative, we'll just put some put some lines going going in and out. And I think some more some more yellow. Let's brighten up this spot. Really give them a bright a bright little spot right on here. And add some little I'll break up the texture a little bit and add some tiny little shapes in there. Just in that brighter area. And hey, it's gold. You know dragons like gold I hear. I hear they're really into gold. So we're going to give them gold eyes. Let's add a little bit more red as this is going into the shadow. And then I can put black right here on the middle like this. Let's do that. A small eye, a little beady eye, I think has a good effect of making a creature look a little more intimidating. A beady little eye. Looks less friendly. And so now, I'm going to add some I'm going to add some black around. I'm going to play with where I want the actual border of the eye now. So let's do black real close to that. I'm actually going to Here, let's use this. If I need a darker brown, now I'm using I'm using this maroon color. That is it's hard for you to see that. It's just a it's just a maroon. You see it on the edge of the can there. It's the color of rust. You might call it red oxide or just maroon. I got it from the paint store. And and so that makes a better dark brown. So so if I want a dark brown like I would want in this shadow, I can get more color in that shadow. And color in the shadows can be a real good thing for a painting. So I'll use that up in here to get a little more vivid color in this eye in the darker in the darker area. Let's just see how that comes out. Like this. Okay. And now let's put black, put more black right in here. Plenty of black. The blacker I make that, the more it's gonna look like the rest of the eye is, is really glowing. Okay, now I'm going to go like this. Now I'm going to build the rest of the eye now that I have that middle part. I'm going to go black on the on the eyelids and I'll put a little bit of white. I don't know how much I want for the whites of the eye. Let's put a little reflection right in here. The light's going that way. Let's go like that. And then let's just put some little bit of white right in here mixed with some black for the white of the eye. A little bit of gray in here like this. Just enough that it looks a little bit lighter than the rest of the eye. We'll put a little bit of white right in here. I gotta be careful not to make the white of the eye as bright as... I don't want it to be as bright as the uh, Reflection, you know, we got to make sure that reflection stands alone as a nice bright spot so we got some gray in there and Now I'm going to just put the The rest of the eyelid. So let's put a little more black under. I don't want this eye to be real big So I'm going to close in the eyelid. I feel like I need some of my Some of my brown up in here. So let's bring the eyelid down over that. We've got red and yellow. Let's put a little bit of, of yellow to get this more orangey color down over the top of the eye. Shrink the eye down a little bit like this. And then I'll put more, let's see, 
Here's red, yellow. I'm just highlighting the edge of the brow, go, going a little bit, a little bit further out, out, a little bit further out. <laughs> like this. Let's put some, put some highlight right in here, coming right up here, and then maybe those little, little highlights. Maybe right in here. I'm I'm creating this as I go, so I'm thinking through, thinking through the process, thinking through the shape that I want this this eyebrow to be. And then I'll just put a little bit of highlights right in here. There. Now there's a little bit of a upper eyelid catching the light under the eyebrow. So so I really have a a uh, I really have a developed understanding of the parts of an eye in order to do this. And all that takes is just a little bit of research, no big deal. And so I'm just going through making sure I include the parts. So I'm gonna put the lower eyelid now. Let's put this going right across here, forming the lower part. And then we're gonna put a little bit of a highlight on there. So let's take maybe a little bit of, of red. Let's put it like a little bit of a little bit of color showing through right here because sometimes you can see a lot of blood flow in the eyes and so I think it'll be cool to see see some color in here maybe right here right under that black stripe we have red like this right in there and then a little bit of white let's put just a touch of reflection in there maybe right here right there, maybe a little bit in here. And then let's put some shadow. Let's put more shadow under that eye. So a little bit of color. I like some color in the shadows. So we've got that maroon mixed with, with some black and I'm just gonna put that right under here. Like that. There we go, I'm liking that eye. I think it's pretty good. I feel like I need a little more, maybe I want a little bit more distance right here on the brow. A little bit more, I want a lot of eye socket. And so I, I kind of lost that when I brought that brow down. Let's get a nice deep eye socket. Make them look old. I'm just putting little shadows for maybe some scales, scales under that socket. He kind of lost his angry look though there, a little bit. I gotta, I gotta find the balance. Okay, so I've got that eye there, I've got this mouth. Here, let's zoom out. Let's see what it looks like when I zoom out a little bit. It's a start, you know it's a start for an eye. Zoom out like this. There's the face we've got going so far. I kind of feel like black would be good around the eyes. I'm going to put more black. Let's go like this. A little bit more black. And then I'll put some highlight on top of that black, like this, just with some white. Put those little plates going across the eyebrow ridge. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna angle the eye a little differently. I'm gonna bring it in. I'm gonna bring it in this way a little bit because I feel like if I do that, then I can get more of like an angry-ish brow on this so you know the the brow the brow in relation look at my brows you know when when they're kind of slanted up in relation to the angle of my eye i get one expression but if i want that angry look where the brow is going down in relation to my eyeball 
Well, his is already going down, so it's hard to bend that brow down far enough, and I need it to go like across the center. So for that reason, I mean, I'm just sharing my thought process here of how to get the expression on this on this eye. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna bring this corner down. I'm gonna bring this corner out like this. I'm gonna change the angle of this eye. This is gonna be the underside now, right there. Right there. Then we'll put a little bit of a shadow coming down here. Like this, right under that eyelid. And then when I do this brow, get a little bit more of that intense downturned brow look, I think like that okay let's put that red i like the way that red looked on that lower brow too right there then a little bit of white on top of that for just a little reflection too much <laughs> let's get rid of that okay and then an upper brow goes down now and then maybe I'll have a little more of the gray showing in this in this eye a little more of the gray right in here like that a little bit more right in here just changing the angle of that eyeball all right I'm liking this better I like that shape to put like a dark outline on that on that iris too there we go the eye looks a little bit more wild now i think a little more crazy okay then let's go or maybe it just looks more natural maybe that's what i'm liking about it maybe the eye just looks more like an eye should look Okay, now let's go over here and maybe try to clean this up a little bit. So I want the top of the head in here like so. I've kind of got these plates separated on top of the head. I'll do those with, with yellow right here. And I'm going to leave his eyes a little bit blacker now. Right here we've got yellow, yellow. Mm, I like this. I like that shape right there. Okay, now I'm going to put some white. That's kind of an intense color. I don't feel like I need it to be quite that intense. Okay, highlight, highlight right there. A little bit in there, a little bit in here. Yeah, okay. These colors are just helping me see the shape, you know. I don't really need anything to be final on this. You know, I just want to start seeing shapes that I like. So I'm going to put this, put this eye coming back right here. And then I kind of need a concave on the back of the head. You know, I want the temple to be showing. So I'm going to have to raise up those horns. But here's how I'm going to connect to those. Shadow under here and I'm just going to connect this a little bit higher so I've got room so I've got room in here so let's go up here and then I'll just start making little little highlights going around it so I'll start with red and then I'll start putting yellow on there just to get a brownish color you know red and yellow dark orange that's how you get a brownish color real real earthy grayish brown and then I'm going to put some little highlights. So maybe it's like elephant skin where it's just all wrinkled up and got lots lots of little little scaly plates on it. Put 
put the highlight on the top there and then I'll even highlight the top of the horn and start curling my brush strokes around. And this is where I kind of feel like I'm I feel like I'm painting in 3D a little bit, you know, just painting a three-dimensional surface because I'm <clears throat> keeping the direction of my strokes along the along the perspective of the of the horn that I want to see here. Okay, so we've got a dark shadow in here behind the eye. And then I want to see a little bit more height on the head, I think. Like that. I like that a little bit higher. Let's take this horn and put that up a little bit higher. Like that. I like I like to see a little bit more brain. Like this. Yeah, this, this is starting to develop. I, I think this is going to be a cool picture when it's done. You know, it takes a little bit of, a little bit of thinking through some stuff, but I like the way it's starting to look. So then, then let's see here. How about the, how about the jaw? So we need some, some color in here. So I'm just going to throw some red and yellow just like I did, but then I'm just going to start putting lots of black in here. I want dark colors. While I'm at it, I'm just going to I'm going to make this a little bit more of a gradual blend. So I've kind of got the temple, you know, at the side of the skull right there. Then I'll make that fading down into this more black color that's under the eye, like this. Let's go in here, put a shadow under that, under that cheekbone ridge. And it's going to go up here and I guess it kind of go across right here like this maybe across right there then this would be a concave yeah yeah there we go that's cool so I'll kind of make a, a ridge popping out right here that'll be a neat a neat shape so whenever you're making a a creature you know it's good to think about not just the outline but the the three-dimensional structure of the skull I think really really helps to develop the character of it right there now let's get some black and put some shadow down here and then I'll darken this I didn't want this to be so light so while I have this darker color I'll come in here and darken this a little bit like that. Now I can make a nice big jaw muscle. We want a big jaw. Make it look powerful. So put yellow for on top of the red for kind of a brownish colored highlight. Go right up in there. And then where I get darker, I'm going to go redder first. I want to go more red so it doesn't turn green. I'm not trying to make green. Then let's put black where I've got my red and we can start making this mouth goes down right there maybe a couple little wrinkles in the skin too right here like that there we go now I'm gonna put this Put this chin curving down like this, real big chin. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Bottom jaw right here. Just make the direction. Again, I'm taking the direction of the brush strokes just, just for starters. You know, when I start to like the, the colors that I'm seeing, you know, then maybe I'll get more specific on the exact shapes like I did in here, you know. Maybe I'll take some white and make little little plates like scales. And I just do that by going over the same spot a few times till it's to the darkness that I want to see. Like that. You know what it reminds me of now is a pig. This jaw looks very very hog like, doesn't it? <laughs> Big old jaw, kind of fat looking and then a shorter mouth. I'm going to open up the mouth some more and then it won't look like that, but it totally has that look.
make a little bit of brighter highlights, just give myself something to look at, you know. My imagination needs a jump start sometimes, so just just experimenting with little little highlights on the surface can give me something to look at, see if I like it. Okay, I'm going to open up the mouth a little more. Like this. And then we're going to have some teeth in here. We're going to have teeth going I think that the teeth would be good to really, really bring out, you know, I want, I want big teeth. This looks real closed. This mouth looks like a real closed mouth. Yeah, I just saw this little, I think this downturn of the brow is going to look good here. If I make a gradient, so black to red, then I'll put some yellow, brighten this up as it goes to the top. A little bit here. Let's bring that down. I thought that it would look good if that brow curled down a little bit on that face. Boy, I, there's a lot, lot to, lot to run with on this. You know, it just makes my imagination uh, just run. You know. When I start making a when I start making a dragon, it's like, oh, we could do this, we could also do this, we could also do this. I want to put little wrinkles in the in the eyelid area. Oh, look at those lines. Snarl lines. That's what it is. Snarl lines. We're gonna keep those. We'll turn them into something, but I like the way they look. Okay, go down here, let's put some teeth. Let's just start with the big tooth right in here. I'm gonna put a long tooth right here. And then we'll just put some black, put some black on each side of it. One, two, put some shadow on the top of it. Mm, kind of lost the white there, didn't I? Let's go right here, get that white back. Let's put a tooth going right down here, like that. Then maybe another tooth coming up here, like that. Honestly, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where I'm going to go with the with the tooth structure on this guy. Just make it ringed with teeth. Let's go like this, put another one here, here. Let's put some more teeth. Put teeth coming down here in the front. Smaller one. Usually there's shorter teeth in between two long canines. On a canine creature, you know. Creature with the with this structure. There, we got some good teeth in there. I'm going to put the shadow in between them. Like this. Shadow in between those, shadow in between these. Switching back and forth, you know, something I do a lot of. Switching back and forth from the space in between things to the thing itself. Negative space, positive space. That's my, that's my method for building shapes or when I'm doing something with many many of the same kind of shape and I have the repeating going on you know then I'll switch back and forth All right now I've got little teeth in here maybe coming out of these shadows make the teeth on the underside Boy, this is going to take some work, thinking about how to structure these teeth. But right now, I'm, I'm liking this. Liking this for starters. Let's put a little line in the middle of each of the big teeth that I really want to see. 
they look more round if you just highlight the highlight the edge the edge of them there one little stripe down the middle is what I mean not the edge brighter spot brighter spot right toward the middle makes them round more three-dimensional okay now I'm gonna get some gray and put some teeth in between the teeth on the lower part Bring it right up into here. Who knows how far, you know, <laughs> kind of a grim smile on him now, huh? The eye needs a furrowed brow. I don't know what furrowed means. Honestly, I don't. A furrowed brow. What does that mean? You'll have to specify for me. Fangs, maybe? Crocodile teeth, <laughs> yeah. All right, let's keep going. Uh, let's keep going and just put the put the bottom of the of the chin in place. This is where I'll stop for today. We'll go like this. We'll put the gums in place with a little bit of black and red. We'll go around these teeth. Like this, we're going to go down and around each tooth that I can see. Like that. Just do some gums. There we go. And then maybe a little bit of white for some just like on the eye, you know, we could put a little bit of reflection. A little bit of red and white. And let's just go. Like that. They're a big scary mouth full of gums. And then we'll put some black. Get that, get that color back on the jaw there. And then we'll go down here and around this, like this. Man. That might be a little bit extreme. <laughs> Somebody's thinking, well, I would have bought that picture, but probably not now. Okay, I'm just putting a little more shadow between the teeth. In there, get some depth. Get some depth in there. Okay, then let's put more right here. Put the chin coming down. Head's getting bigger and bigger. It's all right, we have to... We have to put whatever it needs, you know, we gotta get our gotta get our dragon built. Okay, I've got a nice big chin. A big chin feels more powerful to me. I'm gonna have a big chin. Put this coming down here. More Chinese dragon-ish too. Big long chin. Then we'll put those little highlights right in here like this. Just put little little plates, little highlights in sections to make like, here, let's make a scaly bottom lip right along here like that. And then we'll put these little highlights just like on the top of the head, just something to, something to map it out for now. Like this. I'm going to put a little highlight back in here again. Right in there and right in there just to make that little bit of highlight sunk in under the eyebrow. A little bit of highlight on that on that upper eyelid.
Okay. I'm going to tone this down. I don't like this bright red. You know what it reminds me of? A mandrel. You know what a mandrel is? I don't like the bright red there. I want to make it less, less extreme. Hello from Venezuela. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you for being here, Nelson. And let me go over here and flip back to our back over so you're not looking at my ear while I read the while I read the live chat. I will right, we'll do one last read on here before I before I wrap it up. Keep red. <laughs> I'll keep red. I'll keep a little bit of red. It's just so much. It's just such a red thing. Red nose. Red butt monkey. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's exactly what it is. For me, the nose looks way too rounded. I mean, what's the standard? What's the standard that you hold it against for <laughs> how round? He is beautiful. All right, thanks. Well, it needs developed more. You know, I need something a little more finished looking. Love the horns. All right, thanks. Thanks a lot, Minal. Okay, I'm going to flip back over here. Go to the other camera. We'll do our last bit of painting before I wrap it up here. So let's cut back to the cut back to this view. And let's see. I just wanna I just wanna see right here what it looks like. If I go a little bit darker, let's just kind of darken this whole thing up. We'll have a little bit of red, but just not not as much. I'm gonna go here and put some little bits of yellow so that I get a natural looking highlight color here right down in between these here will bring out those wrinkles the snarl wrinkles like that okay we'll put highlight in there highlight in there go up on the top of the nose Okay, we'll leave some red, we'll leave some in there. I think it'd be cool if there was like, if there was like some light coming out from it. I think it'd be a cool effect. What if we did this? Watch. This will be a neat effect. We're going to go between the eyelids like this we'll go back on the temple like this put some bright red in this is gonna be fun I'm gonna do a special effect oh man this is gonna start looking a little bit hellish okay let's go like this Bright red right in here by the eye. Maybe a little bit around the eye. Let's just see how it looks and then I'll tone down the effect if it's too much. Okay, bright red. We'll go in here and put some. This is just a light touch with plenty of paint on my brush. Like this. Oops, I rested my hand on the teeth. While the paint's still wet, let's go down here and go like this and go through here. So I'm going to make the face like glowing from the inside, you know? You know what I mean? And these are going to be like like deep, deep cracks in the in the skin where we can like see the light coming through. Yeah, let's just use this as a palette. I'm just gonna mix. Just get my, I try to keep my brush nice and sharp so when it gets all, all like a big goober on my, on my brush, I need to really flatten it out a little bit. All right, we're gonna go like this. Let's put more in here. Let's put one in here. Like that. It's going to look real good where I have this black. All this black on here is going to lend itself well 
to this glow effect. Let's put it in here. And of course we'll put it in the mouth where the fire comes from. Yes, right there. And then we'll go like this, bright yellow. Okay, ready? We take just pure bright yellow. Do the same thing inside of these lines. A little bit of yellow in there, a little bit of yellow here. Let's put yellow in here. Put it right here. Okay, just wherever I want it to be brighter, like it's glowing. Just trying to get that yellow right in the middle of my red spots for this glow effect. Like that. Then I'm just gonna blend it a little bit. Let's get more red. I really want the yellow to be completely surrounded by the red, you know, for this effect to really look right. Probably need it to be a little more subtle. So let's blend it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's put some down in here too. Right down to there. And then we'll put his mouth glowing. We gotta do this. There, and then we put dark dark teeth over the top of that. I'll show you how you turn these into, into teeth over the top. Let's just put a little bit of white highlight on them now. Just go like this. A little bit right there, right there, right there. Like that. There, now we're getting a scary looking dragon. Well, I've got lots of work to do. Lots of work to do, but we gotta wrap it up for today. I think we're off to a good start with our dragon. I'm gonna I'm gonna build out the neck. We gotta put a neck coming back and around here. So Let's zoom out a little bit. Man, that's a fun effect uh, around the eye. I like the way that came out. I'm going to put more yellow. Bright little highlight there. <laughs> Been a long time since I've painted like this. Okay, let's do black and some other colors going Going back here and behind this horn here, let's put a shadow like that. Like this, and then we'll have the neck going back and around. Got to put that neck going under a little bit. Give him a big neck, big powerful neck. <laughs> then we'll highlight the top of the neck coming out from under the horn a little bit. Like this. Then here we'll have the jaw, back of the jaw goes way back here, like that. Then we've got folds in the neck going like this, like that, and then up here. 
a big powerful neck I think is going to be a good good fit for this guy I want to see a little more black under this eye I'm going to go like this there a little more squinty is what I'm thinking something not quite so so wide eyed there we go alright I'm gonna stop there and um, let's 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 switch over right here I wanna I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me to feel complete for the day felt so bad when it when it just crashed on me and I had to end everything 89 viewers hey not bad not bad for a unannounced random time of the day thanks you make me feel good by watching what I do once Joe gets going on this look <laughs> really brings to life the kids thanks a lot Susan Monday that's it you got it Monday that'll be the next one and so this is where we're going with this. I'm going to show you the whiteboard. Those of you that uh, weren't here for the first one this morning, we're going this way with it. Here is my, here's my layout right here. Can you see that? And so I've got, I've got like a, I want to put a person in there too. And, and there's like a 10 second delay on it. <laughs> so I'm seeing, seeing if you can see, uh, I'm going to put a person like putting her, putting her hand out, taming the giant beast, the, the soft and the gentle in contrast to the giant and the beastly powerful thing. I always like, I always like a lot of contrast and, you know, putting things really different next to each other is fun. So that's what we're going to do. Hey, you're welcome. Else, why Will Smith, Will Will, Williamson, Williamson, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for watching. All right. All right, all right. Time to end the stream. And so I want you guys to, uh, I want you to know how much I appreciate it again. It's always awesome. Good time. I have fun doing this. So we'll see you on Monday.